What is up everyone and welcome to a massively requested video. You guys have been asking for an update to my home cinema system for absolutely ages, so I'm finally going to give you one. But the entertaining thing about this video is, nothing has changed. But I tell you what has actually changed and that is my future predictions for this system. So most of this video is going to be, you know, ranting and talking about that. And then at the end we'll give a few shots, we'll film the screen a little bit because we haven't done that in a while. I'll just give you a few examples of a couple of different types of films, you know, we'll try cartoon and we'll try, you know, something a bit darker and that and hopefully you can get an idea for the sound as well because the mic on this camera isn't too bad. But anyway, you guys are watching this on Friday, it's a nice fun little video for you guys to have at the end of the week, you know, ready for the weekend chill out. Unfortunately, I'm recording this on Wednesday, so, you know, not quite the same case for me. But anyway, let's get on with it. Now then, you guys are staring at my uh, new projector. Well, new. I've had it for a couple of years now, I think. It must be, yeah, pretty much a couple of years. This is my Optoma HD projector. Can't remember the full name of it. Um, I'll have to put that in the video right across here somewhere if I remember to do so. I do have an unboxing and a test on my channel. Actually, no. I've just got a test video. I don't have an unboxing. It came from eBay. I got a great deal on it. It was around £200 and I'm so, so happy with this projector. It's lovely quality. I couldn't be happier with it. The only slight annoyance is there is a lens shift in it. As you can see, I've got my projector propped up massively there. That's because it's designed to be hung upside down. Um, and, you know, it could be flat on the ceiling and then the, the picture would be shot down to the screen. Well, screen in my case, we'll talk about that in a minute. Or it's designed to be put on a table and if it's flat on the table, the picture will be shot upwards. So, of course, I've got a nice parallel shelf to the, uh, to the uh, screen here, the wall, that was ideal for my old projector. But with this one, I've got to prop it up like hell. So I need a more permanent solution for that because it's propped up with a sock on one side and bubble wrap on this side, as you can see the bubble wrap there. So it's quite entertaining and of course that purple little lamp just ignore that I use that as a little video light for some of my videos if it's dark in here but yeah that's the projector as you can see we've got a couple of leads running up to it which isn't cool I've got trunking there which is uh, really easy to get to down the bottom so I need to run those two leads up one's composite and one's HDMI actually I'm not going to be running the composite that will not be ran just HDMI so all that will be going into the projector is power and HDMI uh, I still have composite running at the moment because I have receiver complications and that will be explained in a second but first let's finish off with the projector it's running really well it gives me 720p which looks absolutely gorgeous films just look amazing on here haven't done loads of gaming yet because you know I'll explain about my setup in a minute but yeah I absolutely love this and uh, I'm, I'm I hope it continues to clonk on for years because it's a nice picture quality so moving on to the other side then Let's take a look at my wall. Now, I've never had a screen, guys. I've never owned a screen, and I've always planned on buying one. I only need to spend about 80 pounds to get the one that I want. But interestingly enough, my brother has uh, bought a projector screen, which is about 72 inches, which is exactly the same screen size as this. 16 by nine widescreen projector screen. He was gonna use it as an awning for his camper van, but uh, he decided against it. So he lives up in North Wales. Next time he comes down, he's gonna bring it with him. He's been down a couple of times, but he's ridden his motorbike down. So of course he couldn't bring a 72 inch projector screen on there. So next time he drives down in his camper van, he will give me the screen and I will have a screen. And of course I'll make a video about it. Hope Hopefully it's fully suited, he's not 100% sure, um, but yeah, that would be absolutely great. If not, I will buy one, but that is not my main priority. One of my main priorities brings me on to my next point, and that is my center channel speaker. Let me sit down, hang on a minute guys, you're gonna have a bit of a creak. Here we go. Here's my center channel speaker. Now, I started off with all of these plasticky Sony speakers. You know, they're all right-ish, but you know, they're not the highest quality things. Now, I've gradually upgraded my speakers. I upgraded the front two. They've been up there for a good couple of years now, maybe three, four years. And the rear two, which have been up there for a really long time as well. Those four are really nice speakers that I've kept my eyes peeled for deals for. And I've been looking for a center channel, a nice wooden large center channel with bigger speakers for a long time and I haven't found one. So I might bite the bullet and spend about a hundred pounds on a new center channel, but I am in no position to do that yet. So if anyone has um, a decent center channel that I can buy off them for a cheap price, nice wooden casing, a little bit bigger, nice quality, then uh, let me know because of course, all of your dialogue comes through center channel. And the big problem is, 
I've got the lowest quality speaker in my setup is the centre channel, so my dialogue's quite muffled. And there's no EQ options on it or anything. I would really, really like to crank up the high end, crank down the low end. It's not very nice sounding dialogue at all. It sounds way lower quality than anything that comes out of uh, the, the front speakers or the rear speakers. But anyway, hopefully I'll get a new centre channel speaker soon. That is definitely one of my priorities. Coming down here then is my sub. Now even though this is the Sony sub, I don't actually want to upgrade it. This sub is rock solid. It's a really nice sounding subwoofer. It's not quite got as much grunt as my creative sub. My creative one is for my computer speakers, it's under the desk there. Not quite as much um, grunt as that, but definitely, definitely decent. The only annoying thing is, it's a passive subwoofer. And because I want to upgrade my receiver, um, you pretty much need an active sub to use with any normal AV receiver because they don't have an amplified output for um, for a subwoofer. So either I run it with a separate amp or I get a totally new sub. If I do get a new sub then I can ditch these two and I've still got the rear speakers. Sorry about that guys, a big squeak, I had my foot on my toolbox. Um, I've still got the rear speakers and the front speakers so I could sell all six of those Sony surround speakers with this original um, AV receiver that we'll take a look at in a minute. But yeah, Speakers wise, I'm pleased with everything apart from the centre. Would love to get a centre channel that was rocking as hard as the rest. So on the surface then, everything seems pretty cool. I mean, nothing's ideal at the moment. I need a screen, I need a permanent projector mount, and I need a new centre channel. This is never going to be a kick-ass system because, you know, I'm in my messy bedroom. It's not a dedicated home theatre, but, you know, it's, it's nice to have a little system like this up and running. You know, it's very impressive for friends and stuff, and it's great. You know, it's just great to kick back and relax and watch some films. I don't watch as much as I used to on here, but I would, uh, I'd love to get into it more again. So, coming down, let me lower myself on my chair. Hang on. There we go. I didn't actually get that much lower. Now, here we have something that I've made a video on before, but years and years ago. We're talking five years ago, maybe. This is my Samsung uh, home theater in a box. Um, DVD player slash surround sound processor. Now this thing has served me really well and it, you can use a passive sub with it. It does have an amplifier built in for the subwoofer. Quite handy. Gives out nice sound. Uh, it's got HDMI out if you ever want to use that. It's got uh, optical audio in. It's got two auxiliary inputs. So it's very handy and I've been using it for years. I only use it as a surround sound processor and amplifier. I do not use the DVD player function because I have under here, right here that you can barely see, uh, a Sony Blu-ray player. So that's where the HDMI is going straight up to the projector. But what I really want is a dedicated receiver. I really, really want a proper receiver so that I can input my Wii U, Blu-ray player, VHS player, and anything else that I want to input, get it all running through HDMI and have the sound all proper, nice and configured, no faffing around with other cables and adapters because you have to jump through some hoops to get audio from all your components on there. And this is a 10 times simpler setup. I used to have three consoles on this setup as well, all with adapters and splitters and stuff, getting the audio to work. It was a nightmare. It still will be fairly complex because when I get a third monitor, when I get my new monitor in the middle, it will have HDMI and I would like to use the Blu-ray player my Wii U, which isn't here at the moment, my Wii U and the Blu-ray player with that center monitor as well. So I'd like to have the receiver to have two HDMI outputs or I put a HDMI splitter on the output or something so that I can go to the projector and also the monitor. And I would also like to bypass the audio and take it to my computer speakers so that I don't have to always have the big sound system powered up. So that is my future plans, guys. Screen, which should be on its way sometime soon, depends on my brother. Uh, center channel, really, really want one of those. Uh, new receiver, really want one of those. HDMI receiver, just desperate for one. It's just nothing, no, you know, I don't want any bells and whistles. I just want a 5.1 receiver with HDMI and possibly a new sub to go with it, but I could always dig out. I believe I have a little amplifier that I could use to uh, get sound into that sub from the new receiver. So yeah, that's how the setup's looking at the moment. As you can see, there's my Blu-ray collection, and that's growing, considering I never have any money, that is really growing. So what I'm gonna do is a little treat at the end of this video, guys, because it's Friday's video, weekend's coming. I'm gonna close the curtains, it's pretty much getting dark outside now anyway, nearly, and uh, I'm gonna whack a little bit on the screen and we're gonna check out some uh, action from this projector. <laughs> 